I just got a catastrophic failure in my home server rack and now my server is dead and I was plugging in this switch after I cleaned it and the power went flickering and then went dead and the crown breaker flipped and all the uh, breakers now I have a huge problem with my server rack because my server don't turn on anymore and also I have problems with my uh, UPS and that also didn't save anything so I think the power supply of my server went down and also the UPS has some problems and when I tried the UPS after it failed it turned on and then it caught in a mode that's all kinds of lights were flickering so let's try it again and right now there are no power cables in the UPS so let's see if it gives errors or not maybe it, it has reset it now Okay, this is a normal beeping that it has no power and the flickering of all those lights is now gone. So maybe I should replug this one in. And the server right now is directly plugged in the power of the power distribution unit of the Sunrack and it's not turning on. Okay, the UPS sounds that it is alright now and the switch is also uh, directly plugged in now and working so this is the cable to the switch and that was directly plugged in the UPS and I now have a splitter cable to the power distribution unit and these connectors were like in the UPS the in and out and I now directly connected them so I gonna put them back in the UPS and uh, see what happens okay that looks fine so let's plug the switch now back in the UPS and see what happens. Okay, this is working, but my server is now broken. So I'm gonna pull it out of the rack. Server is running Proxmox with ZFS, so I'm not really worried about the data because almost the whole server can die before your data is lost. I uh, smell something funny with the power supply. Let's hope it is only the power supply. But we can try again here with some power on it. Okay, if I plug in the cable I hear some electronic noises like the mini sparks or something but nothing the power supply is out so let's open it and see if there's something uh, burnt out or blown up and with the lockdown it's pretty hard to get an easy replacement and I have two CPU 8 pins in this machine I don't have a spare power supply I don't see any burnt out parts yet and let's put this pin here in a black cable of the power supply and this one on the green and nothing happens so the power supply is broken ah this sucks now I need to find a power supply and it's already after uh, order before this time and get it delivered the next day. I have this Corsair GS500 but with only one H pin. But I still gonna try if I can get any life of the motherboard. But I'm not sure if it will boot with only one H pin connected because I have two CPUs installed. I see a green light on the motherboard. Yes, that's a good sign. It's turning on. <laughs> yes, yes. Did it turn off? Yes. Probably because it only has one 8 pin connected. Hmm. I think my uh, hardware is alright. 
Only I need to find the power supply. That is good news and bad news because it's really hard to find one within the next day. Luckily tomorrow I have the day off so I hope I can find one tonight and pick it up in the morning or something. <sighs> this will uh, cost me some money. I scrapped some Celeron D servers and I cut a lot of cables out of it. So maybe there is the right cable in it. An 8 pin to Molex. So we can try out if the server will boot of this uh, cable. So an 8 pin to a uh, double Molex. Yes! It's beeping. It's giving a display. <laughs> good, good. But no drives are now... Uh, Attached with power. All the memory detected 128 gigabytes, 2 E5 2650s, V2L. I think I dodged a bullet of blowing up the whole server. Change of plan, I'm gonna use this Delta power supply from an uh, Intel server because this Corsair has only one Molex cable and I also want to power my hard drives and also the motherboard and I'm not sure if that is possible on one Molex uh, uh, cable so I gonna swap to this one because it has many Molex one uh, 8 pin, 24 pin and even SATA that's probably a better match for this uh, machine to run it uh, for a while while finding a new power supply and with all my Noctua cooling in this system I have plenty of cooling to run it even without a cover for a while. So let's connect the Molexes back on the SAS backplane. And I only use the upper two backplanes. So let's see if everything works now. I hear the hard drive spinning. Six hard drives and two SSDs detected. And the two SSDs here are also detected and Proxmox is booting up. So all the pools and all the drives are still online. So it was luckily only the power supply. So I'm gonna turn it off and see how I will fit this in the server rack because this power supply won't fit in a 3U unit. So I probably just gonna run it without the cover and uh, order a new power supply. I shut down the server and now I have an I.O. error on device SDC sector blah blah blah. Oh no. But SDC. Uh, I'm not sure if this is a hard drive or an SSD. Let's put the server back in the rack. And luckily I have two U above the server free. So I can <laughs> have the extra power supply sticking out and the SSD here on top. I gonna see what I can do with the top cover so I can block off this uh, part so the drives get uh, better cooling. I think this can uh, work for now. Yes, that will do the job <laughs> for now. Let's see if the server runs. I checked which drive is SDC and that is one of the cache SSDs. And that's not a big problem if that will crash. So that is the least problematic drive to fail. So I think I'm now fine with the server. I only need to find a power supply. But with this solution I can wait a few days before it arrives without any problems. So scrapping the Celeron D and getting the parts out of it really saved me uh, today. Otherwise I couldn't have tested it uh, and get it up and running again. So sometimes you need to sacrifice a Celeron D to save your server. If you like to support me you can join me on Patreon and for one dollar a month you can get access to my awesome uh, Discord server. We are now with 27 people and it's a lot of fun and good discussions and you can use my Amazon affiliated links. Thanks for watching.